Welcome inside the Globe Studios on the campus of Goshen College. My name is Dante Stan, and this is the Goshen News Weekend Wrap-Up. As always, all stories presented in this newscast were originally reported by the Goshen News and rewritten for this video format. We've got a great show ahead of us after a week away. We'll follow up on county council meetings and budget approvals and a GoFundMe page that's been set up for a great cause, as well as more on Indiana Lieutenant Governor making an appearance in the area. But first, a groundbreaking right here in the Maple City at Greencroft Goshen. A long-term renovation project kicked off Wednesday with a ceremony at the Metzler Meeting House. That's where the first stage of renovations will take place with the original nursing home, Vista, and the memory care facility, also known as the cottage, will undergo necessary revamps. This is just the beginning of what officials say will be a two to four year renovation process. By the end of that project, all of Greencroft's health care facilities will see substantial upgrades. Changes to the housing situation include the creation of smaller but more private households to help improve resident quality of life. Thursday night's Elkhart County Council meeting marked an important date as the council unanimously adopted the 2024 county budget. That final budget figure has been approved following two readings by the council at $159,385,615. Other topics of discussion at the county council meeting include hearing from community members' concerns on allegedly obscene materials being available for checkout at public libraries throughout the county. The school also addressed the role of the area health department when it comes to the upkeep of county buildings. And speaking of councils, the Council for the City of Navanee met on Monday to give their final vote of approval for the city's 2024 budget. The budget was seemingly well received as it passed unanimously and saw no public comments or questions prior to the budget's approval. The budget total will come in just under $18.3 million, $3 million of which is a general obligation bond which will be put towards a new fire station. According to Clerk Treasurer Jeff Knight, just one change was made between the budget's final approval and its first reading back in September, that being a $3,000 decrease to the Parks and Recreation Department due to a slight downturn in salary lines. Switching gears now, we turn to an opportunity for you to support a local teen in need. 13-year-old Aaron Garcia was injured this past Thursday after being hit by an SUV while riding his bike near Goshen Junior High School. Garcia has been put into a medically induced coma and was airlifted to South Bend Memorial Hospital. As of this past Tuesday, he's in stable condition in the intensive care unit, but you have the opportunity to help cover medical costs. Garcia's family has set up a GoFundMe page to help with the bills that come alongside this tragic accident. Generous donators have already raised $7,600 towards the cause, with a goal of $10,000 in total. Any and all donations for Garcia are accepted, and you can find the link to this page online at Goshen News website, GoshenNews.com, and in the bio of this video on YouTube. We, of course, wish Aaron all the best in his recovery. And we'll wrap up our show with more on Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch and her recent visit to Goshen this past week. Crouch reportedly went on a walking tour of the downtown area alongside city leaders. The Evansville native stated that her re-election campaign is partially based on the revitalization of downtown areas across the Hoosier State, adding that, quote, if we don't have vibrant downtowns, we don't have vibrant communities, end quote. Crouch recognized Goshen's own history of downtown revitalization, claiming that the work done over the past two decades has been a crucial component to putting the city of Goshen on the map. Some of the businesses Crouch visited include the Goshen Brewing Company, Ignition Music Garage, Goshen Theater, The Electric Brew, local favorite Art Alley, and the Olympia Candy Kitchen. This marks the second Goshen visit for Crouch in less than a month. That's going to do it for this episode of the Goshen News Weekend Wrap-Up, presented by Globe TV. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're happy to be back with you, and we hope you continue to make this show a part of your weekly routine. So new episodes are released every Saturday. Don't forget to follow along with more Globe TV content online on our website, globeradio.org, and our YouTube channel, at 911 The Globe. We're also on various social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this has been the Goshen News Weekend Wrap-Up.